Well, hello YouTube. Here we are. Another day on uh, the trailer project. Little bit of a wet day. We got some showers supposed to be rolling on in. So let's make the best of it and, uh, well, get at her. Okay, so trying to plan ahead here. Uh, once this is stood up in the trailer, there will be a uh, two by four or so going from left to right. Now being these are both uh, a basically identical mirror images, the holes will need to be in, well, opposite spots, but in the same spots. So what I've done is I've marked out uh, where the holes need to be and to, uh, and to help uh, with the wood not splitting, I'm going to drill a couple of holes. And then when I go to put the 2x4 uh, up there or whatever is going to go from left to right, I basically just line her up, run the screws in, and it's good to go. Yes, I know I'm using the wrong tool for drilling. Generally, you want to use a drill for drilling and a driver for driving. But uh, hey, um, maybe we'll dig it out later. So once we get this all uh, prepared like she needs to be, we'll go to the trailer, uh, get these up in the right location. Now my trailer has little strips of uh, plywood going along the bottom. If you want to call them baseboards, we can call them baseboards. I'm going to have to measure out where those baseboards are compared to where these are going to fall. And then probably end up doing some trimming and then uh, putting these in place. Doing the measurement from left to right, cutting that board and then standing everything up. A little bit of a uh, project check-in. Uh, not super lot of progress made, however, um, as you've seen, we've got both the uh, uprights built. So I come back in here, lay down uh, the pattern on the floor, put the legs in place, uh, traced out where to notch for the uh, plywood. That's going to be the bottom of the uh, cupboard. So now what I need to do is take my Dremel. And if you notice, there's marks there. I need to notch out those marks, pry that little piece of uh, plywood away, stand the legs up in place. Now we might have uh, some fitment issues um, just based on some of the things I'm seeing. Uh, this here uh, baseboard here, when you side it up, seem to take a bit of a twist at that end so I might end up having to shim the uh, cupboard to get it to be straight however once you add your uh, cross piece that goes from left to right uh, that will pretty much uh, hold it in place and it won't be going anywhere so of course I'm going to fire up the Dremel Probably won't get uh, much of a shot of cutting it, but uh, you'll get the okay, idea. Okay, so here we go. A little bit of a project check-in. Well, as you see, the basic uh, cupboard structure is built. Still contemplating uh, if I should put another support or two um, on the top side. As in, you know, running back to front. I don't really think it uh, needs it because, well, the countertop that I am choosing is going to be strong enough itself to uh, support it uh, under almost any weight. If uh, anything, it probably may need a couple of supports at the back running vertically uh, between the top and the bottom of the cupboard. 
As for the bottom side of the cupboard, uh, there will be plywood that I'll cut and slide in there and then fasten on down. Uh, pretty much right now, the way she sits, it's good to go. Um, I haven't installed the other pieces yet on it because uh, they will need to be painted. Um, majority of what you see here is going to be hidden by the outer sheeting. So really, unless you want to get all fancy, it doesn't need to be painted at all. Um, like I said, the outer sheeting will be what gets uh, primed and painted and all that as well. Well, I'm not uh, super, super good with angles. However, you measure twice, uh, cut once and get things in there. Um, it's kind of a bonus when things aren't uh, finish work as in trim moldings or anything like that because you can kind of cheat a bit and uh, fudge things where it need be and cover it with a sheet of plywood where if it was trim work then you pretty much have to be precise in what you're doing. So pretty much guys I'm going to go clear off my uh, cutting table there and uh, start throwing measurements for well the bottom uh, piece of plywood using the pattern uh, that we cut here a while ago lay that on there trace it and cut it that uh, should be the exact fit that is needed to do what needs to be done okay so here we go as you seen, the uh, base structure of the counter uh, cupboard is all built now it technically looks like I could throw some plywood in the bottom there uh, fasten it on down as well as um, cut some plywood for the top, fasten it on down, and technically make the front. However, you know when you're not happy with the job that things are turning out to be, uh, you want to change it. You want to take it in a direction that, uh, well, you're hoping for it to work better. Now I know I'll be taking some steps backwards, however, I want to rip all that out of there. I know some of you are saying why you're basically wasting all the progress you have made up until this point. However, uh, if I'm not happy with it, I'll never be happy with it. And if I'll never be happy with it, then it'll be a sore spot in my side uh, for as long as I own this here trailer. So what I want to do is rip this all out and give her a toss. Down here I have some uh, shelf brackets. Um, I've used these in the past for my desktop, for in the garage, for holding lumber on. So I know they will take uh, quite a bit of weight, which uh, this here countertop won't weigh nowhere near as much as well, those brackets can handle. And they're going into the aluminum studding that makes up the frame of the trailer. So I need to drill, measure out, drill, and get my spots that things need to go. But first, we're going to have to rip all this out, and around we go. So let's grab our drill and get at her. Okay, so there we go. Got all the screws all undone. It all came out, you know, fairly easy when you consider uh, how long it took to put in there. There are certain things, aspects about this here trailer that aren't perfect obviously because well I imagine they're manufactured in a certain time frame timeline and again they're not meant for this kind of use they're more meant for utility use and uh, sometimes the quality control as in measurements and how square things are may or may not be up to 110 percent but uh, that's par for the course even if you are building a house there's issues like that in a house as well that you have to uh, take into consideration when you're doing your framing or your cabinets as well. So now these are all, well, undone. I know there's still hardware on them, but we will deal with that at a later date. Let's toss this garbage out of the trailer, give the floor a good sweep, and then we'll continue on.
Okay guys, so there we go. Got everything uh, cleaned up, all the screws picked up, all the garbage out of there. Uh, like I said, got to do some patching uh, in the corners there where I cut out the baseboards to put the uh, 2x4 framework tight against the wall which never really actually uh, worked in my favor anyway. <laughs> I still have those pieces, never did throw them away so uh, all I got to do is glue them back into place and fill the uh, seams where I cut and well it'll all be fine. As for the hardware from the screws and such, well the uh, screws were short enough that they didn't go through the back side of the plywood so um, as I figured that was a good thing. So if I want to get fancy I can put some filler in there, squeeze some silicone in there or whatever just so water doesn't penetrate either from the top down or the bottom up. And as for this pile of garbage, well, there's a couple of long ones in there that will be good for something. And these shorter ones I can cut down and use for supports for the bed. And of course the hardware, bracket, screws, stuff like that we can strip apart to use at a later date. But sometimes you got to take a step back to move forward. And well, we'll see how we go from here. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.